Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you how I use my chalk inks with the Dumb Blender pen. I'm going to be making a pet sympathy card today with some of the Cracker Box and So Susie new release stamps. This, I know these are not fun cards to make, but your pets are like your family, right? I mean, and it's heartbreaking when something happens. So, I think this would be a great card to make a ton of and have on hand because most of the time it is unexpected. That way you can give these to somebody whose heart might be broken right at that time just to let them know you're thinking of them. Now I'm going to stamp these two images with my Misty so I can stamp a whole panel at once. This is just another way you could kind of do this assembly line style. When you're using rubber stamps with your Misty, just take out that foam pad in there and then you've got that extra room you need. I'm stamping both of these down on a three by four and three quarters, or no, four, three and three quarters by five inch white cardstock panel. Now, the great thing about my Misty, I stamped these once and I didn't feel like the bottom sentiment was good enough, but the top was. So all I did was ink up that bottom stamp again and stamp it down. I did use some VersaFine Clear ink and I let that dry for a good two hours. It was one of those days where I didn't have the whole hour I needed to make this card. So I did five minutes here and five minutes there and whatnot. So I just had a couple hours in between, so I let that ink dry. If you don't have that time to let it dry, you can heat emboss this with some clear embossing powder, or you can just heat set it with your heat tool and speed up the drying time a little bit. Now to use my chalks today, I'm actually using a Dub Blender pen. This just gives me a way to kind of make them into a watercolor almost, but they're they're not really a watercolor. They've got more of that chalky feel, but I can blend these out. This is the best way I've found that works for me to get that really light um, coloring effect. I can't do it with markers. I've tried. I just keep adding more and more and more and then it doesn't ever turn out. I get way too pigmented with my color and I've tried it with colored pencils and again, doesn't work out. I want to add too much. So this is what I have found that works for me to get that coloring look. What I do is I just dip into my chalks. They're off to the right hand side. Now the ones I'm using are from Stampin' Up. I bought these 10 years ago. They still work great. Um, but they no longer make these. You can buy chalks like at Dick Blick. I'll leave some links down below. And I just use my Dove Blender Pen. The Dove Blender Pen has a liquid in it. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is a refillable pen. So you can buy a refill for this and the nibs are interchangeable. So you can change out the nib if it gets a little too gunked up for you. I just dip my brush or my um, tip of my Dove Blender Pen into the chalk. Maybe you want to, if you just want a little bit of color, just dab it in there. You want a little bit more, you can kind of scrape a little bit. And then you just go and color in your images. I start where I want the color the darkest and then use the liquid in the, plant, in the pen to blend out into the lighter color. And that really helps me achieve that really, really um, blended out look. And that's what I'm going for with this image. Now the stamps I'm using today, like I said, are brand new from Cracker Box and Suzy Stamps. I'm not sure the exact names, however, I will leave links to everything I use down in the description box below as always, so you can always find those down there if you're interested in, me, in any of these stamps or supplies I'm using. Now underneath all of the little animals, I added a little bit of green. This is really where you can see that liquid working with you. I started towards the top of the grass where I wanted the lightest, and then I just keep pulling color down with that liquid and blending it out. Whenever you're ready to switch to a new color, just scribble off the extra color on a scrap piece of paper until your marker is clean, and then you can go right back into a new color. So you don't need a ton of different markers for different colors unless you just want to. But for me, one marker is good enough. Now around the image, there's this little vine. Um, I, it's kind of an oval, I guess you would say. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all of those little leaves in with some red. They look like little hearts to me, so that's what I'm going with here, and I'm going with some red. You could do green, you could do teals, you could really do whatever color you wanted here. The great thing about this stamp is all those little animals in there, you could customize to look like whatever animal you're trying to replicate. I just went with some browns and some mustardy yellows and a little bit of gray for that mouse. 
And that's what I chose to do. But again, you can customize these to work with whatever color scheme you want to. I'm gonna finish up very quickly. I'm going pretty heavy handed with these. So you'll see me going off to the right and dipping into that red color quite a bit. The more you dip in, the harsher the color is gonna be. The more you kind of blend out, the lighter color you're gonna get. Once I had that finished, I did add a little bit of blue around the top for the sky. However, I did that off camera. And I just scribble off all the color, make sure it's nice and clean for the next time I'm ready to use that marker. I love chalk inks. They really, really work well for me. They do take a little bit of practice, a little bit of getting used to. However, once you do get used to them, they are a really quick way to color and a great way to do some different techniques. Now, before I move on to the outside of the card, because it's gonna have a little dry time, I do wanna stamp on the inside of the card. I'm stamping on an A2 top folding white card base that I made myself. I'm using that same Versafine Clear Nocturne ink and I'm inking up this, ver or it's a saying, I guess you could say, that goes on the inside of the card. You could use it on the outside too, but I really wanna use it on the inside. I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this right in the top center. And then to dress this up a little bit, I'm gonna do a little stamping over it. Now I use the same uh, stamp that I used on the outside, the little oval, viney oval with the animals on the inside. I'm gonna ink this up with some desert sand. Now, this is a very, very light ink, but it still wasn't as light as I wanted it. So I'm gonna do a little second generation stamping. This is a super, super simple technique. If you don't have a light ink color, you can always just stamp off and then stamp one more time. And that's gonna give you a lighter colored ink. And it's just a great way to really stretch your inks out and just use them to their full potential. So I stamped off on a scrap piece of paper, then I stamped that image right over the sentiment, and I've got this great ghost-like image. It doesn't show up well on video, but it does show up better in real life. It's just a gorgeous way to add a little bit more to the inside of your card without being overpowering to that sentiment, because you really want that to shine. Now, once I had that done, I needed to go back to the front of my card and seal in my chalks. I gave that a little bit of time for the dub blender pen to dry, and then I'm gonna seal this in. You can use an art sealer if you want, but I personally work in a small workspace. I don't like it and it really gives me a headache, so I just stay away from it. I cut out an oval and I used hairspray. This is some very cheap hairspray I bought that does not work for me. It's not very sticky, doesn't hold very well, so that's kind of what you want to put on your cards. But hairspray has a high alcohol content, so it's gonna dissipate very quickly. It's not gonna make your colors run or bleed or anything like that. Um, the only thing is, if you do use hairspray, you wanna make sure that you use an ink that will play well with alcohol because hairspray does have so much in it. You don't want it to make your ink bleed at all. So that's why I use VersaFine Clear as well. I went ahead and sealed that, matted it on a black cardstock and popped the whole thing onto an A2 top folding card base. And then on that, um, little vine, there's these tiny dots, and I just want to add a few little black enamel accents. I don't like to dress up sympathy cards, no matter what they are too much. I think it's overpowering, and I just like them to be a little bit more, oh, I, just more about the recipient than the actual card. So I just added a few little of those enamel accents on the vine to help it pop out a little bit. And I'm calling this card done. There's a closer look at both the outside and the inside. And one final photo. This is a beautiful card. Very simple, very easy to do, and would be great for assembly line style. That is going to do it for me today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, there are links on the left side of your screen. You can also find the subscribe button if you aren't already. Happy crafting, everyone.